Hi, I'm Kyle Peters with VecDolly.com and today I'm going to show you how to install my uh, John Deere snowblower rotation kit. Uh, as you can see, it's tore down and that is the first step to take pretty much everything apart that John Deere has done. Once you've done that, keep in mind that you keep these the three keepers and the bolts handy because you will need those in the future. I do have this on here because I've had it installed before and I just didn't want to take it all apart. But there is a motor, a hydraulic motor and stuff you'll have to put together. And I will show you that in a bit. But the first step is to, is to redo the chute mechanism. And I'll show you that right now. Okay, this first step in putting the chute mechanism on, the rotating assembly, you take this part. And you lay it down. Now it only goes on one one way because they don't all line up. But I have marked mine already. So that the, the holes line up and the four holes that you took off on your original one. And you take there's little bolts that come with this. The kit, the hardware might vary. But the idea is the same. You just put them in there. Start them, get them all started. Okay, so I'm gonna tighten these down, but first I'm gonna show you this. This is the stop that comes with it. This one is not powder coated. You will get a powder coated one. And you just take those original bolts that came off of there and you slide this piece on and just tighten her up. That's all you do. Okay, now that we've got the spout done, set together and that's laid aside you take the other plate you lay the one plate in here like so and this little plate right there and you line the holes up with the original john deere holes and then all you do is take this and lay this on top now it doesn't matter how it goes but basically that's how you do it and then you take your clips your factory clips and you just put them back in. Might have to wiggle them around a little bit to get them started. Once you got those started, you can take your ratchet or whatever you got, whatever you're using. And you just go ahead and snug them down. tight first because it's all the powder coating and everything isn't working. It'll work fine once you get your motor on. Okay, I would turn it over here like so. Next step, we're going to put the motor on. Like I said, I had this on before, so we're just going to put it back on. When we go on one way,
some of these parts, <clears throat> and they may vary, but some of the parts are going to be metric, some are going to be SAE standard. So you will need metric and standard to put this kit on. Okay, so I use a dial indicator or a caliper to, to adjust this. Now, you can use whatever. It's not that critical as long as these sprockets are in the same plane and relatively close. Um, this may come put together, I'm not quite sure yet, but I'm showing you this just in case. So what I do, down there and I lock it in. Come over here and bring that up. And then there's two set screws somewhere. Check it again to make sure it's pretty close. A little bit up there. No, just a shade. And we lock them down. Okay, at this point, we have this on, we have this on. Now we're gonna put the chain on, and we're gonna just wrap it around. Like so. Put our connecting links in. There you go. Next step is take this idler, now this one's used because I had it used on my other one, and you'll get something similar, don't know if it'll be exactly the same thing, but the principle applies, but you just put that in there like that, now you can go on either side, just depends how your, how your chain is going, you can go on either side, really, you just so that you can tighten your chain up. Either way it will work. And I'll just hold her snug. There we go. Just like that. At this point, I'm going to show you how it works.
Okay, now that we got that on, we know that's working. We're getting a nice degree of rotation. Time to put the shields on. And you take these studs like that, and you screw them into the hole. They may or may not want to go down, but you just screw them down to the till it hits the plate below it. Just gonna snug them down a little bit. Like that. Not touching there. Next, we'll put this one on. Take the slash shield. There's a bolt back here. Take one of these, put it in there. Another bolt. Keep her threaded, they're tapped holes. And you just get them started in there. Like so. There's one in the front. Okay, just reach up to here. And then you, what you do, you tighten those all up, and basically, you're done. Now, I didn't show, obviously, hooking up the hydraulics, but you can do that. Um, it just takes the place of this mechanism, this cable mechanism that works in here. After that's all said and done, you can go ahead and put this the original plate back up in here to, to uh, plug this hole so snow doesn't fly up in there and whatnot. And there you have it. All done.